What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Nick. Welcome back to Nick's Dynasty. Today, we're doing a video on my time out of college, my year out of college. It's actually been a little bit over a year, a little bit under a year and a half, but we're going to talk about the things that I've done and also the things that I've learned. So right out of school, I decided to take some time um, to do some self-employment work. So I was very serious on doing eBay stuff and I was doing Postmates deliveries and DoorDash and all the different ride shares on top of that to sustain a, a decent amount of income. I was lucky enough for my parents to let me come back in the nest for a little bit. So that kind of um, lowers my output of money as far as rent. And I was able to use those monies to do other things. So I did a lot of traveling. Traveling is like one of my favorite things. Travel, travel, travel. I landed in my destination. I'm here in the beautiful city. Well, it's dark right now of San Francisco, the San Francisco Bay, California. We made it to our destination. We're here in Canada, Canada, Niagara Falls to be exact. I'm actually in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, or whatever the nickname is. I'm in DC. I'm always here because it's like my second home. For the first couple of months, that I actually got out of college, I wasn't even home. I probably in those first few months, I did maybe three trips at least. So I went to Myrtle Beach, I went to Chicago, made a trip towards Pittsburgh for a couple of days, went to DC, I was there for probably about a month. And I drove back to Pittsburgh, was there for a couple of days, and then I came back home. And I kind of I've developed a, you know, a hustle mentality. I have goals that I want to do for the days and the week, whether it's like doing um, sourcing for eBay. It's Falls Creek, vertical stripe, long sleeve shirt, like in the color with the teal and the purple. Natural issue, Marlin T with the map of seas, got the Baltic Sea. Another L.O. Bean shirt, salmon and like bluish gray fade color, size large. Loving the color on this shirt. The pattern's a little iffy, but the colors are real nice. Doing those Postmates deliveries, staying in the gym, working out, just hustle, hustle, hustle. I've been, uh, I've made my store from around 100 items to begin with, and now it's around 720 something items. So this is what I created. Nick's finds my eBay page. 732 items got a logo done i'm team ebay i don't do amazon yeah it lists mostly clothes but also doing other stuff as well found some beer taps uh handles to sell we do sport coats we just sell clothes clothes is what i do i like clothes we start this as fashion channel but yeah, this is Nick's finds, and we're at over 700 items. You dig? So I've definitely done some growth in that aspect and retaining the eBay hustle. It's been about a year and four months of me being out of college, and uh, I transitioned from doing the eBay stuff full time to now putting that as a part-time thing. I'm uh, now a uh, shift manager on a food truck company here in the city. So I'm working 40 hour plus weeks. And I decided to go on back to a full-time position for the simple fact that I want to pay my loans off as fast as I can. And having this full-time job uh, there may be a cap of amount of money that I can make, whereas eBay, the cap is up, up, and up. But there is a little bit more security with this job. I know I'm going to work at least 35 hours a week and we'll get paid for that on specific days. Whereas eBay, you sell a few things this day, you get paid on that day, maybe a couple of days down the line, there might be a return or a couple of days down the line, 
there may be few sales. So it added a little, adds a little bit of security. During this time, I've become more wise as far as my money. I read this beautiful book called uh, The Millionaire Next Door. I'll flash up the cover of it now. And during uh, reading this book, it kind of unlocked what it, um, it's hard to explain, like the way to build wealth, what is riches, what is wealth. It's not owning a big house. It's not owning a big car. Just because you're making a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean you're rich or wealthy. Well, that just means you have a high income. And if you're not retaining the income that you're bringing in, you can't build wealth and you're just displaying all this abundance. Whereas you have this house and you, most of your money is going towards that payment. You have this car, most of your money is going towards that car. You don't have any leftover funds to plan for retirement or to build wealth. You may make a hundred and a thousand dollars a year, but you might only have like $70,000 in your retirement, whereas you're making this much money, you should well be, have more saved up. So it's kind of changed my priorities. I want to not necessarily portray this uh, picturesque life of having abundance, having the nicest things. I just want to, you know, save for the future be smart with my money and just do the things that I specifically love and care about. I work on a budget now. I have a budget for my month. Saving and building for retirement is a big and important thing, but also just funding the few things that you um, find enjoyment out of and some of your passions. Mine is traveling. I do love to stay social and to also eat out, but also finding ways to be social uh, without spending too much money. But the biggest thing that I've learned that, you know, debt is stupid. Don't get caught up in the, the whole using all credit cards or having all these big payments. Try to pay everything out in cash if you can. Save for what you need. Um, so paying off my student loans is like my most important goal that I plan on doing by the end of the year. So I'm trying to get rid of all debts. Got to put your money where it's important and my, it's important for me to not have any debt. So that's where my money is going. Something that I've learned is social life is actually, it's kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm a very social person and very outgoing, but something about being in a uh, city where you're not, you don't have really roots. It, I've learned that you have to go out your way to meet people, to you know, be social, or whatnot. So I probably haven't done a great job of making friends. I think the biggest thing that has impacted me as far as being social is joining a sports team. I'm on a local rugby team. The team is quite big. They do social events and. Um, if that's probably the most social action I have is when I am doing, hang, hanging out with those guys, going to practice and whatnot. I'm still working on meeting friends outside of work, outside of rugby. It's a little bit hard. I've tried. I've, I've met some people. I got their numbers and through communication kind of got strained. Um, but it's something I'm, you know, working on. I'm blessed to have a great friend here in town, him and his wife. I hang out with them quite often. So meetup.com is a great resource that I've used. Done a lot of, I've done a lot of sports meetups cause you know, I like, I like to stay athletic and um, be active, but I haven't done any of the like social ones yet. And I plan on doing that soon, but that's a great resource to um, get out, try new things and just meet people that you normally would not meet on your day to day life. Learn that dating is kind of hard. Haven't been in a relationship since. Um, I left school, which is fine. Um, it's definitely hard when you don't when you're not even that social, or you're not meeting people. You don't have like a big group of friends where you're meeting people through your friends. So that's a little bit strange. And the whole online dating thing is it's it's cool if you you know find the right person, but a lot, a lot of time a right match is few and far between. You might be attracted to them and find out they're dull as a knife that doesn't cut through butter. 
but um, people are out there. So if that's important to you, you know, continue to seek um, different avenues to meet people. But right now it's, yes, I would love to, you know, date, but it's not necessarily an importance. Also during my time off, I um, had the opportunity to coach track and field, coaching track and field, something I said I always wanted to do and finally getting into it. Um, it's not necessarily what I expected. I actually uh, coached a discipline that I was not actually familiar with myself, and that was the throws, and I myself a sprinter. But uh, the head coach said it's a play, way to get your foot in the door um, to coaching. And But during my season, I learned that I was doing junior high kids, so that's 7th and 8th grade. Kids don't necessarily listen. We're in a generation where... They have all the technology, all the answers at their fingertip. They might have been raised with more than previous generations. So there might be a sense of entitlement to themselves. And that's not necessarily something I deal with very well. Uh, I met some great kids, but I've learned that kids aren't necessarily my favorite thing. They take a lot of energy and they don't listen but I feel like it is important to, you know, try to impact the next generation wherever, wherever you can, whether that is you're an uncle, a parent yourself, or a direct influence on kids such as teachers, coaches, mentors, or whatnot. So I would like to still continue to have a, you know, impact on the next generation. Right now, I don't necessarily know where that's going to be. Overall, my time out of college actually has been very fun. Like I said, I was blessed to travel a lot and that's like a really important thing to me is travel. And I also, money is kind of important and I've learned to be more responsible with that. So I can't complain about being out of college. I, I do miss it a lot, just the social life. And even the schoolwork wasn't even that bad, but of course I just missed the social life. But can't wait to see what happens with the years to come, I have big plans coming ahead. I just have to, you know, do the steps necessary before getting to those uh, goals. And, you know, life is good. More videos to come. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's your boy, Nick. Like, comment, subscribe. I love comments. Comment something. Tell me about your life outside of college. Tell me what your plans are or what you like to do. Just, just comment something below. All right, y'all. Peace.